anti-cancer drug groups. Anti-cancer drug groups work through different mechanisms of action. Many extracellular ligands promote the growth of various cancer cells. Antibody anti-cancer group attacks those ligand receptors and prevents their cancer-promoting effect. Examples of those antibodies are Bevacizumab and Rituximab. The anti-metabolites group interferes with synthesis and metabolism of essential components for nucleic acid synthesis and proliferation. Anti-metabolite group includes methotrexate, 5-fluorouracil, and mercaptopurine. Microtubule inhibitors group interferes with microtubule function, therefore inhibits cellular mitosis. Microtubule inhibitor group includes many natural products, such as vincristine, vimblastine, and docetaxel. Steroid hormones may enhance the growth of some tumors. In this case, steroid hormone antagonists can be used as anti-cancer drugs. Example of this group is tamoxifen. On the other hand, steroid hormones might halt the progress of some tumors. In this case, steroid hormones themselves can be used as anti-cancer agents. Example of this group is prednisone. Finally, the alkylating agent and antibiotic groups work mainly through interfering with DNA synthesis and proliferation. Alkylating agents include cyclophosphamide and cisplatin. Antibiotic anti-cancer agents include bleomycin and dactinomycin.